Hi Year 5, I'm Mr Kelsall. And doing things a bit different this year, we're going to have a virtual open day for you all from Chesterton Community Sports College. I'm going to be doing the computing one. So strap yourselves in and we're going to learn all about algorithms. For today's lesson, we have three learning objectives. The first one is to make sure that you understand what the word algorithm means. Secondly, you're going to put your skills together and see if you can make an accurate algorithm. And lastly, we're going to see if you can explain what your algorithm does and if you can fix any problems with it. I always like to ask Year 5 pupils whether they think they are smarter than a computer or not. So just take a second and think to yourself, are you smarter than a computer? I've got some great news for you all. You are all smarter than a computer. Every human on earth is smarter than a computer because computers are not intelligent. They aren't smart at all. They only follow instructions. We often see intelligent looking computers. Even your computer at home or your mobile phone seems intelligent with all the things it does. Or the Vision or Jarvis from Marvel seem intelligent, but these are all in fiction. There's never been an intelligent computer or robot. How computers look intelligent is they follow algorithms. Somebody sits down and writes the computer an algorithm to look intelligent. But you're all probably asking yourself the big question, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a set of precise and accurate instructions which are written step by step and they're written to solve a problem so if you follow the instructions, you solve a problem without even thinking about it. They're a bit like a recipe. If you follow a recipe's accurate instructions in order, step by step, you solve a problem and you make some toast or a cake. And if you don't follow them, you make a mess or a fire. Now you may not know this, but I have actually built a robot as a computer science teacher I've learned how to code my robot and build it from bits of metal and it's got one job. Its job is to make my favourite type of sandwiches. My super advanced Jambot is designed to make me the perfect jam sandwich. But there's a problem. I didn't actually give it the algorithm or the instructions on how to make a jam sandwich. It doesn't know how to do it. It's got all the parts ready but no instructions. The solution? You're going to write an algorithm. You're going to write an algorithm to make a jam sandwich and we can give it to your teacher, to a parent or to a jam bot and see if it can make a jam sandwich. In order to test out your algorithm, you're going to need an adult to make sure they've got a few items. First, you're going to need a loaf of bread in its packet Second, you're going to need some butter in its tub. Third, well, you're going to need some jam, obviously. Fourth, you're going to have to have a plate for something to serve it on. And lastly, you're going to need something to spread your butter and jam with. If you're using a knife, make sure it's a safe one and make sure you've got an adult. Now it's time to write down your algorithm to make a jam sandwich. You can work with a partner or on your own and make sure it's something someone can follow safely. Now remember, Jambot or your teacher or an adult have forgotten everything they know about making a jam sandwich. They don't even know how the knife works. So write your algorithm down step by step and then it can be read out and followed by somebody. You can use the worksheet if you've got that available or just write it on a piece of paper. I'd give yourself five minutes to do this and just pause the video about now to give yourself that little bit of time. Now, I don't usually show people Jambot outside of Chester Community Sports College, but for this one time, I think I might put him on video. Now, he is amazing. It took me ages to build him and you can see him in action when I test my algorithm on him. So, 
Get yourselves ready and I'll reveal the amazing Jambot. Jambot is activating. Jambot is programmed to bake jam sandwiches. Jambot needs instructions. Rules, rules, rules. You must only read the instructions on the paper. You cannot change the instructions. Changing instructions is cheating. Cheaters will be terminated. Read instructions to Jambot. Jamage. Open the packet of bread. Bread packet. Packet bread. Opening. 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 Error, 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 error. Next instruction for Jambot. Take two slices of bread out of the packet. Take two slices of bread out of packet. Error, error, error. Next instruction. Place each slice next to each other. Place each slice next to each other. Next instruction. Open the tub of butter and place the lid on the table. Open the tub of butter and place the lid on the table. Um, get a knife. Get knife. Knife. Got. Using the sharp edge at an angle, scrape gently at the top of the butter until you have a thin layer on the knife. On one slice of the bread, spread this evenly. Spread this evenly. This, 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 this. Do not know what this is. This undivide. If there is not a thin layer of butter on the bread, repeat, repeat the previous step. Put the knife down. Knife is already down. Open the jar of jam. Jam jar. Opening. Opening. Error. Place the lid down on the table. Place lid down on table. Pick up the knife. Pick up knife. Put the pointy end of the knife into the jar until half of the half of the spreading edge is submerged. Error. Pivot it around and scrape until you have a thin layer of jam on the knife. Error. Pick up the same slice of bread you buttered. Jam side to bread, spread the jam using the knife on top of the buttered slice of bread until it is even. Place both slices of bread together and you will have a jam sandwich. No resetting, resetting, resetting. Task failed. Stop. Oh no. Well, the instructions we wrote didn't work, but hopefully yours will. So test yours out, read them out step by step and see if it works. When you're doing this, try to look out for the bits that go wrong. Because they usually do. Because remember, computers and robots aren't smart. They only follow their algorithms. Hopefully by now you've realised that our algorithms just aren't working properly. We need to fix them. And when we fix algorithms, the problems are called bugs. So fixing an algorithm is called debugging. 
So if you have a copy of the worksheet, turn it over and try and fix your algorithm now. I've given you a word bank and my suggestion is you try to, in each instruction, write at least one object and one verb. Don't forget to instruct the adult to pick things up first and don't forget to say which hand to use. Don't worry if it goes wrong, everyone's algorithms go wrong and it can take a little bit of time to fix things and get your Jambot working properly. I'd pause the video now, give yourselves five minutes to have a go at that. Jambot activating. Jambot requires instructions to make jam sandwich. Read instructions, read algorithm, read one statement at a time. Do not cheat, do not add new statements. Get two slices of bread from the packet. Get two slices of bread from packet. Cannot open packet. Next instruction. Put the bread on the plate. Putting bread on plate. Next instruction. Remove the lid from the butter. Remove lid. From butter, lid removed. Pick up the knife. Pick up, knife, knife picked up. Put some butter on the knife. Put some butter on knife. Put some butter on knife. Next instruction. Put the knife on the bread and spread it. Put the knife on the bread and spread it. Spread it. It's not defined. Spread it. Random object chosen. Screw open the jam lid. knife into the jam. Error. Spread the jam off the knife onto the buttered bread. Spread jam off buttered bread. Too many instruct spreading jam. Spreading jam. Spreading jam. Put the two slices of bread together. Bread already together, together. The jam sandwich should be made. Resetting. Resetting. Video end. Jambot easy mode activated. Bread. Open. Butter. Open. Jam unscrewed. Give Jambot instructions. Take two slices of bread from the packet. Take two slices of bread from the packet. Taken from packet. Put the bread on the plate. Put bread on plate. Bread put on plate. Pick up the knife. Pick up knife. Knife picked up. Put the knife in the butter. Knife put in butter. Get some butter on the knife. I have butter on the knife. Remove the knife from the butter. Knife removed from butter. Spread it on the bread. Spreading it on the bread. Next instruction. Put the knife in the jam. Putting knife in jam. Swizzle it around a bit. Swizzling, swizzling it around a bit. Take the knife out of the jam. Knife taken out of jam. Spread it on the bread. Spreading it on the bread. Put two slices of bread together. Done. 
You should have a jam sandwich. Resetting. Resetting. No jam. No jam. Video. And... Awaiting instruction. Scoop butter onto bread. Scoop butter onto bread. Put some jam on the bread. Put some jam on the bread. On the bread. On the bread. Jam is non compliant. Some jam on bread. On bread. Put the jam down on the table. Put jam down on table. Put the two slices of bread together. Putting the two slices of bread together. You have a jam sandwich. I have a mess. Video end. Well, my algorithm certainly didn't work properly, but I'm sure you can fix yours and I know you can do it successfully. So good luck. And that brings us to the end of our lesson, year five. So from today, Hopefully, you can now tell somebody exactly what an algorithm is. Hopefully, you can create your own algorithm. And maybe some of you have even got to the point where you can explain how it works and you can debug and fix an algorithm. I usually get stuck on that last one, and I'm sure some of you have too. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope you've all learned about algorithms today. There's algorithms all around us, so make sure you look out for them whenever you're doing anything, whether it's crossing the road or making a jam sandwich. If any of you want to meet Jambot, I kind of put him away, I only have him out for year five day, but sometimes you can see him walking around the building at Chesterton. I know, looks just like me, but totally isn't me. Have a lovely day and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye bye.